today's video silence of the lambs tutorial so it's from start to finish so when you get your deaf head hawk moth how to pin it how to set it then how to frame it in the film poster style i hope you like it please leave a comment and let me know what you think face in your face So here we have the deaf head hawk moth or the A. atropos. Beautiful specimen that I raised myself. I'm just going to show you how to pin it. Now you want to start with an entomology pin and place it through the thorax, the main part of the thorax. Can be a bit fiddly but you want to get through the right part so it doesn't break any pieces off and then place it in the center of your butterfly pinning board these are special boards that have bits so you can place the wings either side of the main part of the body now you want to take hold of the costal vein which is the very top part of the wing because it's the strongest part and it will stop the wing from breaking or any pieces coming off. Then you want to secure the wing in place once you've got it into the position with a piece of paper or you know tracing paper, anything like that. And secure it tightly with pins. Being careful not to put any through the wings. And try not to get your fingers on the wings if you can because this will damage them too. Now, once I've done that one side, I'll start on the other side, being careful to try and get into the same position. Now, don't worry too much, you can always go back and adjust your first wing to make it more symmetrical, as I do in this video. So I'm just adjusting this first side just because I could see that it wasn't as high as the second wing and I like to have them as symmetrical and perfect as I can. And lots of pins again just to hold it in place. It's a little bit fiddly but you'll get it after a few practices. Now we're going to start on the under wings. You want to grab it by that main vein in the very corner again to stop it breaking any parts. And then you just want to pin them just so they're literally just underneath the top 
wings so there's a t tiny little corner of the board showing which you can see at the end of the video so they sort of sit under there nicely lots of pins again to make sure they don't fall back out of place now like i tend to do this with my fingers now rather than tweezers i think when you are first starting it's best to use tweezers just because you're more likely to be a bit more gentle i've been doing it quite a while now so i can do it quite quickly but that takes practice And if anyone ever has any questions at all, I'm always available on to PM message on Instagram. I'm quite happy to answer anything. If you want, if you're giving this a go yourself, you're more than welcome to give me a shout. I'm just doing the final underwing. Trying desperately not to get my fingers on the wings. It's just good just to take your time really um there's no rush especially when you're starting out it's a bit, a bit of a skilled art but you'll get it definitely and there we go that's the dev head halt mop all pinned ready to start to frame beautiful aren't they So the next bit is to get a bit of scroll leaf, what I use, scroll leaf backing paper, which is wallpaper, but you can use any backing you like, really a piece of A4 card if your frame is A4 sized or, you know, cut it to measure your frame. Then I paint it black. You can use acrylic paint or poster paint works. The only thing with poster paint is it takes a few more coats uh, to actually cover the white. And then you get your film poster print which you can order on ebay they're pretty cheap not well you can get them just some places do them cheaper than others and then you want to use some of your craft glue all around the edges and some throughout the center to then stick it onto your backing board To be honest, I probably could do with getting myself a glue spreader or whatnot because I'm a bit heavy handed with glue and I think that's why I get through it too quickly. Next part is to make sure it's nice and central. Now, when you're first starting out, I would recommend measuring it with ear tape first because otherwise it's going to not be central, which I did quite a few times. And then you, you can't get it back off once it's stuck, which is a nightmare. press it down firmly to make sure it's really stuck on there once you got it in the place you want now there's a bit of white still around the edges so I'm gonna just fill those in now with some acrylic paint and a little paintbrush gotta do a perfect job As you can see, I don't use any uh, newspaper, so I just get paint everywhere. I'm a messy artist. <laughs> and then next, you want to get your moth. So the moth's still got the pin through, you've taken it out. It takes about a week to dry, forgot to say sorry. So you leave it there to dry for a week, and then it's ready 
to pop onto your frame, pop into your frame. Now what I use to secure the moth onto the picture is a piece of the pinning board which you can buy from Amazon, I'll pop some links in. And I glue that, a small piece that fits perfectly into the centre part of the hawk moth on the picture. press that down then you want a bit of glue on top where your moth is then going to be secured Now you take it by the pin carefully. Hands are a bit shaky, always when videoing for some reason. I'm sure I'll get better at that. And the pins do twist slightly, so just be aware of that. So you want to get a good grip. And then you pop your pin into the glued part of the board. Line it up first so you can just see so the moth is covering the picture of the moth basically. I've tried to spin it round so you can see. And then you want to push it down securely into place. The moths are pretty robust. Let's put it that way. Up to some insects, they're pretty robust moths, so they're a bit more forgiving. And there we have it. All finished. Now you just need to leave that to dry. I usually leave it for around half an hour. And then you just pop this back in into a frame. And as you can see here, here's a few different examples of frames of, death, of the Silence of the Lambs I've done. So, what did you think, Science of the Lambs tutorial? If you'd like more videos like this, then let me know. Um, I'm quite happy to make anything that you guys would find interesting. Um, as always, if you want to subscribe to my channel, then please click here. Notification bell for, for future videos. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Face in your face.